Hi everyone, my name is Damilola Akinola. I've heard some people ask questions on how cake pans are being prepared for baking. And in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how I prepare my 8 inches by 2 inches pan for baking. If it's your first time here, I welcome you dearly. Kindly signify in the comment section for recognition. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my interesting videos. To my dear subscribers, you know I love you always. Thanks for your support so far. Having said that, let's dive into this. I have my 8 inches by 2 inches pan here with me, a brush and some butter on it, my scissors, tape roll and a baking sheet. These are the things you need to prepare your pan with. First, you want to coat your pan with some butter or margarine using your brush starting from the corners like I am doing, starting from the corners of the pan. And this applies to any other shaped pan. You know, whether it is a square pan or rectangular pan or hat, any kind of shape, okay, this applies to it. Start from the corners, then proceed to the side. Proceed to the side, making sure the margarine is not too much on the pan. You are just going to be making sure you are coating the pan with margarine properly without leaving any spots like this okay having done this it's time to line our pan with baking sheets all right so i've got my baking sheets here at this point some people some some bakers might decide to um to use sieved flour yeah on their pan but um, instead of the baking sheet, some people might actually prefer to use sieved flour for it, depending on the type of cake they are baking or depending on what the recipe calls for. Majorly, you use this method of baking sheets for moist cakes, all right, for moist cakes or fruit cakes. Yeah, but I use it for majorly for um, like all types of my cakes, all right. So, but in this video, we are using a baking sheet to line our pan. So, by doing this, we need to measure the sides of our pan and the height and also the base of the pan, which I am doing right now. So, to measure the base of the pan, you need to spread your baking sheet and put your pan yeah, on it. Then, trace it out with a, a knife, a small knife or something to just cut it round. By doing that, you have already gotten the shape of the base. Then to measure the height and the and the size of the cake, yeah, you need to um, you need to put the tape roll round round the pan. Put the tape roll round the pan. And in this video, I measured 22 22 inches for the sides of the pan, and for the height, I measured two inches. I usually add um, about half an, half an inch to my measurement to give allowance for the cake to rise and not overflow. Alright, so in this, I'm going to be using 22.5 like you're seeing right now. So I'm going to be measuring 22.5 on the baking sheet, then 2.5. Alright, I'm going to be using 2.5 as the height. Yeah on the baking sheet so after measuring it out i do um, um I, I also measure it on um what's it called now on the baking sheet like what you, you all are seeing right now then place it in the pan all right you cut it out you cut it out then you place it in your pan all right i'm trying to cut it out and this is in this I, I found this method so helpful for me over the years you know using um what's it called now palette knife a small palette knife to just trace it out after folding it like this yeah you'll see how i'm going to do that all right there you go 
just like that just like that it's it works so perfectly well for me and it is neat instead of using a scissors or a um, or a knife all right so i hope you found this um video very useful if it if it's useful for you and if it is helpful for you please don't forget to like to share and to drop a comment until the next video please stay blessed and remember jesus christ love you and thank you guys for watching bye